Hello and welcome to another AllAndroidTabs.com video tutorial. My name is Stingray. Today we are going to be talking about streaming video media to your Android tablet device from a local source such as a Windows Home server, PC or laptop, or a network attached storage device. What do you need to make all this happen? Well, of course you're going to need media. Uh, one thing I have learned with my Motorola Zoom is it can be a little finicky as to what media formats it will play back. Uh, I have found that it does tend to like MP4 so I've been using programs to convert most of my videos uh, into the MP4 format. Uh, two programs that I have used that I really like are DVD Catalyst and Handbrake. DVD Catalyst will pull media off your DVDs and format, format them to fit and play perfectly on an Android device or even other types of devices. They have several profiles that you can choose uh, so the file that you're converting will be converted into a format that will play nice to whatever device or profile that you choose, uh, such as an Apple product, iPhone, or an iPad. Uh, they even have a Motorola Zoom uh, profile, which should work for a uh, large number of Android tablets out there. Um, like I said, I've used this to convert some of my files, and I really like it. Um, also, uh, if you have regular media files such as DivX or an AVI file that isn't playing nicely with your Android tablet, uh, you can also convert these with DVD Catalyst. It just doesn't do DVDs. It'll also do regular media files as well. Uh, let's go over to their website here real quick. It is only $10 for the program. It'll probably be the best 10 bucks you spend. Uh, you can find them over at toolsformovies.com well worth the investment of $10. I've also used a free program to convert videos called Handbrake. If you already have a digital video file that doesn't seem to work with your Android tablet, I found converting it with Handbrake to an MP4 format makes it play very well on tablet. Uh, you can find them over at handbrake.fr. Uh, again, this is a free program, so uh, it doesn't cost you anything to try it out and see if it works. Okay, so we briefly discuss how to convert your videos into a format that will play nicely with uh, your Android tablet. Uh, once you have that done and once you have them stored uh, onto a device such as a laptop or a PC or a network attached storage device or even a Windows Home server, uh, you'll need a way to access those files from your tablet. Uh, the way you're going to do this is with an application. Um, an application that I have been using is called Skifta. It is a DLNA certified and supports uh, universal plug and play standards. Uh, DLNA is a Digital Living Network Alliance. It is a standard uh, used by many companies and devices that allows you to stream media uh, with little to no effort. Uh, and the universal plug and play uh, standard is, is basically just a standard that allows uh, different types of devices to talk to each other with uh, little to no setup. Uh, I have found that there are other DLNA type apps out there, but not all of them are optimized for Android tablets. Uh, I find Skifta fits nicely on the tablet screen, uh, and it's also fairly intuitive uh, to use. A side benefit of using Skifta it will also make your Android tablet discoverable on your network to other devices such as a PlayStation 3 or uh, media players such as the uh, Western Digital Media Players. So yes, you can play media off your Android to tablet. In essence, your tablet could be a media server if, if you want to go that route. Um, okay, so we've discussed, uh, just to recap, converting our video files uh, into a format that will play nicely with our tablets. Um, once you've got them stored, you're going to need an uh, application such as Skifta. Uh, so next, what we are going to do here is start Skifta and show you how it all looks when it works properly. Here you go. Um, typically, when you first start Skifta, it does a little update thing, kind of searches your uh, devices that may be on your network. Uh, since I've had mine opening on and off all day today, it, it's kind of already up to date. Uh, it only takes a few seconds, so uh, don't be alarmed if you see that for the first time. Uh, basically, what you see here now are three steps that you have to take to get to your media. Uh, the first thing you have to do is, number one, which is choose a media source. Uh, 
This is if you have a Windows Home server or a computer, a laptop uh, open or a, a network storage device, it should show up in here. Uh, right now all I have for this tutorial uh, is a home server and of course it shows the my Motorola Zoom itself. Uh, so we're, for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to choose the server which is on my network here. Uh, okay, next we get to choose a player. As you see here it shows my uh, Western Digital players. Uh, um, if my wife's uh, Samsung Galaxy was on it also shows that up as well too as a device that I could play media too. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to choose my Motorola Zoom. Uh, once I choose number two, this allows me to go into number three, which is to browse my media and, and choose a file that I want to play. Uh, here are the default files that you're probably going to see on just about any device uh, that you have your media stored on. Uh, we're going to click on videos. Uh, I've got all my videos stored on a series of folders, so we're going to click on folders which now we are actually in my Windows uh, home server uh, videos here again and here are the kids videos that I normally go to um, and play for my kids Skip is now searching the folder and it brings up a nice list of all the videos I have inside of there uh, I've got some that have been converted over specifically for my zoom so we are going to click on that and open this up and again, it's all listed here, alphabetical. Uh, we are going to choose Toy Story 2. And let's go ahead and resume play. So hopefully in an area that has a lot of action. And there you go. This is Toy Story 2 playing off my uh, Windows Home server over my local area network. Uh, thanks to Skifta. And DLNA standards, I am able to stream it over my home network without any issue. It plays very nicely. Uh, and once you get the hang of Skifta, you'll be able to pull videos up uh, relatively quickly. So thanks for uh, sitting with me uh, through this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you found it useful. Uh, at least it gives you a really nice overview of how you can play media on your Zoom without ha actually having the media uh, stored on your device. You can keep it on a uh, outside source as a computer or a home server or even a uh, network attached storage device. Uh, make sure that they are DLNA certified. That will help simplify things for you. And uh, enjoy your Zoom or your Android tablet. Thank you. And please come back again and uh, visit allandroidtabs.com for more tutorials.